Hey what's up guys this is Astronax and I'm back with another Epic 7 video so in this one I want to talk about the new gear upgrade system is it better or worse it is definitely better so here's why but first I will talk about the uh, retroactive stat adjustment that was just done as you can see here look at all the main stats it's the maximum value everything was changed to the maximum amount which is really good it's really good I would say the only downside really is that in PvP players that had 35 speed boots before now have 40 speed boots and uh, I mean many players they gain that 5 speed for free on their boots and uh, when a lot of players crafted their boots for so long to get a pair of 40 speed boots. So that's, uh, that's one thing that uh, is unfortunate but overall really having the maximum value is huge. On all stats it is definitely uh, removing a big barrier of randomness. So it allows everyone to get maximum main stat roll and uh, that's one less thing to worry about to be honest and that's really good. Alright so real, uh, retroactive stat adjustment, really good stuff. I was not expecting this and it's really great. So the new gear uh, upgrade system works on old gear as well. Let me just show you if I sort this by level. So a piece, these are some of the items that I've been uh, keeping. I've gotten those before the uh, the change, before the patch. And having four speed on an item like this allows me to potentially get 12 speed at plus six enhancement level. And it will not cost you much to uh, get it done. Let's just see real quick. Well, 5 crit damage, but I'm going to stop it there. It's really easy for a new player, let's say, to uh, I mean, to get stats that they really want. So, uh, like, if you're fishing for that 12 speed, uh, whatever the slot, like uh, weapon, helm, chest, uh, like necklace, ring, it's definitely going to help you out. You will save gold uh, and uh, a bunch of materials that you need to sacrifice to enhance your gear in the old system really it, it was uh, like you had to roll the uh, the missing substats because you need four substats so really you knew that at uh, for, for rare you needed two uh, enhancements so you, you reach plus three you get a new substat you reach plus six, you get uh, the fourth substat, and then you start uh, rolling uh, like a higher value on those uh, on any of the four substats. But the way it works now is that on a rare, you uh, you will be upgrading one of the current substat twice, so plus three and then plus six enhancement, and then when you reach plus nine, you're getting a new substat and then plus 12 you get the fourth substat and plus 15 you roll uh, one last time on any of the four substats so really you have to make sure the item that you're gonna upgrade has kind of uh, the perfect substats for whoever you're going to use the item on depending on uh, the role of the hero if it's a DPS, a damage dealer, a support, a tank, a bruiser, a, uh, a hero uh, that has combat readiness boosting for a speed comp in PvP. You can really like focus on the stat that you want and the uh, chances to, uh, to get a high value on those stats is much easier. And I would say that yeah, it ends up saving a lot of gold and enhancing, enhancing materials. 
since since we can be uh, more picky and you can also abandon uh, the enhancement of an item much earlier because let's say you were really hoping for that let's say that speed roll be it between one and four but of course you'd like it more to be like a, a three or a four if it rolls into let's say this helm i really uh, need a helm that has nine speed or more if uh, like if i'm unlucky let's say and they all roll into speed uh, at plus three let's say it gives me one speed and then at plus six it gives me one speed then so i only have six speed but I could potentially have the perfect speed roll on it, item uh, level 85, and that 4 could go into 8 at plus uh, 3 enhancement, and then that 8 could go into 12 at plus 6. And if you're using an item like this on a hero that is a combat ridden as booster, you can just stop there. You can just leave the item at uh, 12 speed and eventually when you have enough enhancing materials and you want to uh, maybe uh, try your luck, you can bring the item to plus uh, 15 and you could potentially bring uh, that 12 speed to 16. But to be honest, like it's first of all, like it's going to be a 25% a chance to roll into speed because there's going to be four substats at plus 12 that when you go to plus 15. And then there's the roll between one and four. Uh, that's on an item uh, level 85 though. But to be honest, like early on in the game, I would just leave the item at plus, uh, plus six enhanced level. So really like, like I've been saying, hunting for a uh, 12 speed uh, piece of rare gear at only plus six enhancement is uh, much easier uh, I, I feel like it, it's pretty amazing to be honest like now it is like the uh, game summoners war if you guys uh, ever played that so you can really dismiss an item uh, very quickly if uh, let's say if it's a rare and it has a flat stat right there you just flush it if it has really like two substat that you can uh, use on uh, a hero role like a damage dealer these two substats they need to match like they need to be good for that role uh, for support it could be like uh, speed and health percentage or speed and defense percentage or even like speed and effectiveness and also like pay attention to the uh, roles like make sure they actually rolled high initially so it's actually worth investing into uh, the item but to be honest getting the item to plus three and plus six it, i mean you get it to plus three you see where it landed uh, how high the roll is and then if it's good and you're happy with it you just bring it to plus six and you're 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 saving so much gold and it's so much easier to really like uh, especially early game to let's say you you get a piece with like rare crit crit damage they both rolled high i mean it's a no-brainer really you just like you roll that thing and it's gonna be like really good even if you leave the item at plus six very early on i'm talking like early game stuff but even in the bid game, uh, like if you're going for that uh, piece with like a certain amount of speed, it's def definitely gonna uh, be much easier. So, yeah, like I said, uh, it is also much easier to decide if an item is worth the investment at first glance or if it uh, gets instantly sold. Now, uh, you should only upgrade rare and heroic gear with the best substats for a specific role like i said uh, these substats they need to work they need to work together like uh, all three on a heroic they need to work for a dps support tank or bruiser or uh, a speed uh, initiator and uh, and make sure those stats actually roll high like if you roll minimum roll on the, let's say you have one stat that you really want, it's speed, but then you have like, let's say uh, health percentage and then you have effectiveness. And then let's say the first roll, roll goes into effectiveness and it's like the minimum roll, you could just dismiss the item at this point or you could go for another try and then if it rolls again in effectiveness and it's a roll roll, just flush the item really. 
but it really depends on where you are at currently in the game. So, I mean, if you are in the early game and you still get two rolls into like that effectiveness in that specific example, uh, you could just go with it because the three substats are actually usable for uh, a specific hero role. But let's say in mid game, late game, you could be way more picky uh, depending on how the item roll and all that. So, like I said, leaving pure speed rare gear at plus six enhanced level for your combat readiness booster in PvP is, uh, is smart and it's gonna save you a lot of uh, materials uh, and gold. So really like if you want to try your luck and get an extra roll into speed, which the odds are gonna be 25% chance to roll into speed at uh, from plus 12 to plus 15. And also you have to check like uh, if it's gonna roll between one and four on an item uh, level 85. So uh, there's gonna be some uh, upgrading uh, I, I've done it already, but I'm gonna do some crafting, some upgrading, and uh, some selling, just to give you an idea of uh, my my thought process on all this. So, next thing I want to talk about is, uh, yeah, I pretty much covered. Like I, I've had like a bunch of notes, and I've been jumping around uh, throughout those notes. And uh, also, there's another uh, factor, like, I, I've been making a lot of inventory space because of the new system, but, like, making inventory space is uh, much faster since uh, you need the right uh, substats, and we don't need to roll a heroic item to plus three to check the new substat, because, like, a heroic item, it starts with uh, three substats, and like I've been saving so many heroic pieces like especially speed set guys like I was just banking on the fact that it could end up like that fourth substat could be speed and maybe that speed could have rolled like a three or a four and maybe it's a helm and uh, like to be honest in the speed department in my helms like nine speed is actually an upgrade right now so really I was banking on that but now I check the, the heroic item, there's no enhancement level yet, there's only three substats, it's on the speed set, there's no speed part of those substats. I just flush the item right, right there. So it is definitely much easier to uh, make inventory space. And uh, I mean that's the case for like let's say on a speed set for speed but uh, really if you have like effect resistance part of those uh, three substats and you're going for an item that's gonna be for your damage dealer and you you really want like crit crit damage attack or uh, let's say crit crit damage speed or attack crit chance and speed something like that let's say and you have one substat and it's effect resistance just like flush it if you are like in mid game late game that's pretty much how you will uh, you will handle things also uh, yeah, I mean, let's let's uh, go with the crafting real quick here. Now, all the main stats, uh, they are max value on the old system. So what I really want, I have a lot of crafting materials, and I'm glad I did not craft and I waited. So let's see here, helm. I really need a speed helm, but to be honest, it could be any set with speed like even a rare to be honest like this is not good you got flat these are going to be examples too like how i dismiss items so like flat attack effect resistance you just flush that thing it's on a crit set but like it, it's it's done it's not good yeah it's, that's not good effect resistance flat really need that speed like this, let's say this was speed set, right? It's rare and it rolled like three or four speed. Uh, as long as the second substat was something usable, be it uh, crit chance, crit damage, attack percentage, effectiveness, like as long as it was usable, health percentage, defense percentage, I would have kept it and I only need to bring it to plus three to uh, C first, it rolled into speed, high roll, alright, I'm going to plus 6 with it. But then, like, 
if that's not what, ha what happens, I can quickly dismiss the item. Another flat roll and t like where I'm at in the game now, I can be uh, way more picky. And that's something that will save you so much gold, guys. Just sell the items if, uh, if like for me, they need to have like no flat stat besides speed, of course. And it could be like for a bruiser hero, uh, you can definitely have a mix of like health percentage, uh, defense percentage and like crit chance. It's fine, it's fine. And also like if you start rolling it and the rolls are high, especially at that point, you are gaining a lot of value out of the item if you are using it on the right hero. Wow, that is really good. Look at those rolls, like crit set and crit chance, crit damage. Like this is all usable. This is very good. Now this is like like the old system to be honest. Uh, epic uh, rolled with the maximum uh, main stat from what I uh, remember. And uh, yeah, I mean this is... The example I want to give is on a rare piece or a heroic piece. Well, you know, this is not... You don't dismiss this. You've got the highest speed roll and uh, the highest health roll so you just bring that thing to plus three and you see wh where it uh, lands if it lands on on speed uh, I i'm gonna bring it to plus six and uh, it could roll into health after that and then at plus nine because it's heroic it could land into a uh, speed and uh, it could end up being really good so i'm keeping that thing for sure i'm gonna roll it like this too i mean effect resistance is one from perfect but i mean i know it's effect resistance but you never know plus three could bring it could bring this thing to eight speed of course the odds are lower than if it was a rare piece of gear because it would be a 50 percent chance to land onto speed so now there is some garbage here like to me i will only bring it to plus three because the investment is very low but it's because it's speed set and it has the highest speed roll. That's the only reason. Ah, uh, this, I mean, this can only uh, get to 10 speed if it's perfect at plus 6 and then 14 speed at plus 15. So, to be honest, the odds are really not in my favor to uh, get it to. 10 speed and 10 speed is not going to be enough for I mean it's plus 6 defense is not super high I mean that's that's how you will handle your uh, enhancing it depends like where are you in the game uh, how many of those specific items do you need across all your heroes mm. this is very this is very good I mean attack is 2 from perfect speed could be 4 Crit damage, uh, I believe it's like 7 is perfect on item level 85. Effectiveness is 8. Definitely like usable. I, I mean, it's a helm. I definitely need uh, high speed helms and all the other substats are good. So, very good, very good. I mean, I could go on with crafting for a long time. I just want to give you guys an idea of how did that. That was not good. Like, it's, it's just instant dismiss. They just do a few more. Sell that. I wish I could sell it like straight there. I mean, this it's it's uh, three speed, so I can bring this to uh, eleven speed at plus six. So I will see what happens at plus three. But you have to set a priority, though. Like if you are crafting and you are getting some epic items, I mean, you're most likely going to enhance those first, unless you're really trying to get that. Uh, Let's say you want that extra one, two, or three speed for your combat readiness booster. And like, let's say your helm is like six speed is your best. And you could, it's, it would be much easier to uh, like upgrade a rare and try to get like between 10 and 12 speed than on a heroic or uh, epic item. But really like, let's say you are getting epic and the speed is high, you just like, uh, you just roll it to plus three maybe it lands on speed and you just keep on going with it there's so many different like 
ways to approach things in uh, in this game but this is how I handle it it's been uh, doing really good for me to uh, like have uh, gold saved up and not uh, have to run adventures like crazy to uh, to get a bunch of uh, items to enhance other items I, I'm really like picky on what I decide to enhance early on like when I started the game it, it was not the case it depends where you are how far uh, how much did you progress in the game wow like this is this is really good max crit chance roll max speed roll and three from perfect health uh, percentage roll definitely definitely good and on a crit set it's not speed set but it has crit chance and it's on a speed set so it's definitely definitely good and it could be extremely good or it could be all right but you can uh, very early on you can uh, see what happens with the item you don't have to bring the enhancement like much higher all right just uh like two three more and then i feel like i, I did quite a few two more Mm. like when it's an epic item and there's a flat roll and let's say you were hoping for a speed substat let's say then if it's not there and you have a flat uh, roll you can most likely dismiss the item unless all three of the percentage substat or uh, like speed they are uh, they rolled high or they match whatever role the hero that will wear the item uh, like they have to be good for uh, a specific role unless you use it on a, on a bruiser that needs pretty much all stats but yeah like this is a crit set it has crit damage the role is actually uh, is low but I mean it's effectiveness like you have to remember to like you don't need like 100% effectiveness, 55% effectiveness it's, is pretty much where it's at right now uh, against, uh, against targets that have 70% uh, effect resistance. There's 15% that you cannot counter. So like if you start getting like effectiveness subsets on like, uh, like four of your items and then you get unlucky and you roll a bunch of times into effectiveness, then you might have more effective, uh, effectiveness than you need. So keep that in mind as well. All right, last one. All right, so really quick here. Let's go through the rares. Speed, crit chance, attack. To be honest, I, I'm really banking for uh, speed. And like early game, maybe you get lucky, you got an item level 85 drop in, uh, in the hunts and it like both of these substats they match a, uh, a damage dealer so you could uh, you could enhance it and see how it uh, how it rolls has speed but it's too it's it's not good enough the odds to roll like four speed and then four speed is uh, I mean it's first you got a 50% chance to roll speed and then you've got a 25% chance to roll four speed because it's gonna be between one and four. And then you have another, it's gonna, I mean, the odd to get it to 10 is, is not that high enough for me to invest into it. Flat stat, instant dismiss, unless it was speed, of course. Flat stat. I mean, it, it's three speed, it has attack, 8% is the maximum. I'll just think about it later. But I will not upgrade this thing when I have some epic and heroic which uh, could potentially be much better. So I'll just leave it there for now. That's the same item. So no speed. Alright, so that's for the rare items. Now the heroic flat stat, effect resistance. See ya. Effect resistance flat. You're gone. Flat defense. What was the rest? 
The rest of the rolls were good. Perfect crit damage, perfect attack percentage. You know, it depends. If you are uh, early to uh, beginning of mid game, this could potentially be good for you. Depending, bring it to plus three, see what happens. Bring it to plus six. It, it's definitely, it definitely could be good. But I need, I need speed, and it's not there. And there's a flash side. Like so, for me, it's, it's, a, it's a goner. Effect resistance and a flat stat. The roll on crit damage is max is 7%, defense is 8%, so that thing is gone. And you see how much gold it gives. It it, it definitely adds up, guys. This is this could potentially be really good. Like really, really good. Unfortunately there's no speed, but still. This could be very good if it rolls onto speed hopefully if it rolls all the time onto speed but it could be one 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 let's say which would be really unfortunate but i mean there's that flat defense but i'm gonna give it a shot because nine speed is an upgrade for me especially on a speed set that's yeah yeah if if you're aiming for speed and it's on a speed set that's uh it's gonna be much better gonna be much more flexible when you uh, get to uh, gearing up your uh, your hero max speed on a speed set I'm gonna take a chance here because now I don't have like plus three is not gonna be a new substat and uh, it's gonna be much uh, cheaper to uh, to give it a shot like all these substats are definitely usable lock this thing up this could be really good flat defense I mean those substats they don't match for I'm not focusing on building a bruiser like so I'm dismissing this thing and it's on a crit set too I mean no nah, it's gone all the substats are definitely usable the rolls are it's like mid rolls but like there's no speed and I mean it's health effectiveness then there's crit chance, so it's like bruiser. I'm just gonna keep it for now. Decide later. Actually, I'm not even gonna lock it. That that's one way you can do things. Just don't lock the ones that you're not certain of. This is I mean it's headset, first of all, so like effectiveness getting 55% it is not that big, like that hard really, so headset does lose some value there. Then flats that and like defensive stat and then an offensive one that it doesn't work too well together i mean for a bruiser item it needs to for me it needs to be like really good the values need to be high they need to be uh they need to roll good and uh yeah i mean so if it to begin with the rolls are not so good and there's a flat stat i mean i'm not gonna bother with it crit chance i mean crit crit chance with effectiveness works together the health it depends on what content you're gonna use. Really, you can use that on a dam damage dealer, but let's say you're doing Wyvern 11 and it's always attacking the frontliner. You don't need that health unless you don't break the barrier too. But anyways, uh, so yeah, this thing, the crit chance is good. The effectiveness can be eight health, eight. I'm gonna decide later to be honest, but yeah, I mean, there's no speed on it. It, 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 it would be easy to dismiss it. This is hit with effectiveness. Nah, I'm just gonna dismiss that thing. This I checked or no. Four speed with two substats. Like all these substats are good. Uh, of course, if it was crit chance, crit damage, and, and speed, it would be much better. Crit chance, attack, percentage, and speed. But I really need that speed, guys. So, <laughs> and it's perfect roll. It's actually the on item level, what is it? Item level 88. The uh, maximum uh, initial speed that you can get is 5, and then when you start doing enhancement, its uh, maximum value is 4. So maximum uh, speed on a item level 88 is 25, and the maximum speed on a item level 85 is 24. That's insanely high, but to get those, my god, you would have to play for years to, like... I mean, even playing for years, you, you, you might not even get... You, you cannot even get a perfect set for, for one hero. It's 
the odds are too low. But the way this new system works, uh, it doesn't help you though. It doesn't help you for getting the, the perfect stat that you want on an epic item. It doesn't change anything. It's only for uh, rare and heroic. So yeah, uh, wait, that thing was, I mean, crit, crit set and then I want offensive stats, but then it has, the effectiveness is perfect. Crit damage could be 7%, has flat, there's no speed on that thing, I, I'm flushing that, I'm not gonna bother. It's just gonna end up being like a massive disappointment later on. And it could just keep on rolling into flat at near the end on the last two upgrades. And it really hurts when that happens and it, it breaks the bank, kind of. Like, oh, over time, if you're doing that multiple times across multiple items, it you are definitely uh, in a... <laughs> you're just losing. You're just losing uh, materials and gold. And this, well, a mix of offensive and mostly defensive stats on a hit set. To be honest, it's it, it's gone. I need speed and the 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 stats they don't match well. They they don't work together. There's no synergy there. Uh, and if it was for a bruiser, I want some high values. So like I said, it depends where you are at in the game. But this is how I approach things, and uh, I think I went over everything I wanted to talk about, guys. And I actually like spent quite a bit of time to craft and really like show you what I, I keep and what I sell and like my thought process and I hope it was useful uh, to some players out there uh, if it was hit that like button guys I'm Astronox uh, leave me a comment and uh, yeah subscribe for more and press the bell icon if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video and check out my other videos uh, they should be showing up on the screen now so that's gonna be it for this one good luck with the item finding the uh, enhancing the, all the roles and all that good stuff i'm out for now peace